the science, methods and benefits of fasting. When it comes to living a healthy lifestyle, good eating and regular exercise are frequently mentioned. Why this is true, there is more we can think about when it comes to our connection with food and living a healthy lifestyle. Fasting is voluntarily abstaining from some or all food, drink, or both for a period of time. Short-term fasting can provide good health benefits despite its reputation for being harmful, depriving or reserved for religious reasons. Fasting is becoming more frequently regarded as a viable technique of managing weight and preventing disease as research in this area expands. Simultaneously, it is critical that fasting be done in a proper and healthy manner. The Science of Fasting The benefits of fasting are now supported by a considerable body of research, albeit the most significant data comes from animal studies. Nonetheless, these results are encouraging for people. Fasting, in essence, reads our bodies of toxins and compels cells to engage in processes that are not normally triggered when a regular supply of food is available. When we fast, our body don't have access to glucose as they normally do, requiring our cells to find other ways to generate energy. As a result, the body begins the natural process of creating its own sugar, gluconogenesis. Non-carbohydrate elements such as lactates, amino acids, and lipids are converted into glucose energy by the liver. Our basal metabolic rate, the amount of energy our bodies burn while resting, becomes more efficient as a result of our bodies conserving energy while fasting, decreasing our heart rate and blood pressure. Another phase that occurs later in the fast cycle is ketosis, which occurs when the body uses stored fat as its sperm source of energy. This is the best mode for weight loss and blood sugar regulation. Fasting causes modest stress in the body, which causes our cells to adapt to increasing their ability to cope. To put it another way, they become powerful. This is similar to what happens when we exercise and put our muscles and cardiovascular system under stress. Our bodies can only get stronger during these processes if we take enough time to relax and recover, just like when we exercise. That is why fasting for a brief period of time is recommended. The different types of fasting. These three types of calorie restriction or fasting have been shown to improve longevity in lab studies, feeding with a time frame. This is the technique of restricting calorie consumption to a time frame that corresponds to our circadian rhythm, our body clock. Our body clock or circadian rhythm is the natural circle that informs our body when to sleep, rise, eat, and more. Aligning with our circadian rhythm can be as simple as eating meals exclusively during an 8 to 12 hour period each day while fasting. For example, between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., body system performs best when they are in sync. Midnight munching, when our bodies are supposed to be sleeping, throws our natural repair system off. Furthermore, allowing our bodies extra time to repair is good for our health. Calorie restriction on a continual basis. The habit of consuming less calories during the day. The focus of research has been on a two-day diet in which calories are cut in half and carbohydrates are restricted for two weeks in a row. This method subjected the body to brief and intensive therapy. Intermittent calorie restriction also teaches us that we don't have to eat all the time. When we do eat, we may make informed decisions and continue with our typical activities and exercise while using less fuel. Fasting, mimicking diets, and periodic fasting. This entails restricting calorie consumption for three or five days, causing the cell's glycogen stores to decrease and ketosis to begin. While it is possible to accomplish this without eating, it is not recommended. A five-day calorie restriction diet 
diet, about 1,000 calories per day is enough to approximate fasting without nutritional depletion. This approach is seen to be preferable to the two-day fast since it allows the body to enter ketosis and start a true detox. Health Benefits of Fasting Although fasting might be difficult and uncomfortable at times, the emotional and physical advantage can include boost your cognitive abilities, obesity and its related chronic disorder can be avoided, reduce inflammation, boost your overall fitness, weight loss should be encouraged, reduce your chances of developing metabolic disorders, patients with cancer will benefit, fasting during chemotherapy boosts the immune system and reveals cancer cells. According to a recent study involving mice and cancer, getting rid of old poisonous cells and replacing them with new healthy ones could be the solution. Traditionally, cancer patients have been advised to boost their food and calorie intake while undergoing chemotherapy, but this advice may be changing. If you are thinking about trying fasting, talk to your doctor first. Hi everyone, I hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you like to see more contents like this, kindly like this video, share it with others, leave a comment in the comment section and also please subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed yet. Thanks for watching to the end, have a nice day and look out for the next video.